let's look for the presence of glucose or sugar in the urine and we'll know that that's not normal, that's pathological. To test for glucose, we're going to use Benedict's solution. Benedict's solution. We'll use 10 drops for every one milliliter of urine and the urine is going to be sampled with one of these pipettes. We'll fill it up to this mark here and then we'll add that to a test tube and then we'll use 10 drops of Benedict's. Note that if sugar is present, if glucose is present in the urine, the reaction will turn orange red. So we need to see what the color is to begin with when we first add the Benedict's in the urine and then we need to boil it for two to three minutes, which is what you have to do with Benedict's solution. And then we'll see what the color is at that point. So let's get our rack of test tubes. One test tube for each of these patients. The test tubes are numbered. Let's go ahead and add the urine from each patient. into our test tube. Here is one mil going into patient number one. Be careful when you do this experiment not to mix up the urine by mixing up your pipettes. So just have a pipette for each individual patient. Two. Okay, and now we're going to do 10 drops of Benedict's solution, and then we're going to go over to our heat source where we've got our hot water. And we're going to let this stuff sit in it for two to three minutes. So here, let's count 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see it's starting to change already. I'll show you that from the side in just a minute. Okay. All right, and the last one, patient number four. Okay, so that gives us 10 drops of Benedict's solution into one milliliter of urine for each of these patients. And now let's look at these tubes and record the colors that we see. Patient number one's urine is this nice green. Here we can see that. Patient number two, again, green. Patient number three, I think that's about the same green, All right? And then patient number four, again a green. Now I know from a video camera that you cannot tell the difference between these unless they are next to one another. And even then it might be a little hard to tell on camera. But I would say that patient number three Patient number three, that urine looks just slightly different. It's a more yellow, it's closer to a yellow green. So let's take those to the stove and let's film it. 